Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the channel. This is Jackass Retro. My name is Matt, and uh, this is another postcard only what sold video. Uh, so it was mentioned in one of the comments. I wanted to see some uh, totals and things like that. So uh, I kind of ballparked it mostly, added stuff up. Uh, looks like we had this week $430 gross sales. That's before fees and everything. Uh, and 34 cards going out now. Uh, you can correct my math if you'd like and uh, keep a tally as we go. Uh, that'd be kind of weird if you are doing that, but yeah, I don't have to boss you. Anyways, um, we're going to go ahead and get started. Um, and, uh, you know, if you're for first time here, you like this kind of content, make sure you're subscribing. Uh, hit the like button. Leave a comment down below if you've got ideas for future videos. You can do that down there as well. Uh, if you want to show some support for the channel, you know, let your postcard buddies know that there's a guy out here doing what sold videos for postcards every week. That'd be cool. And uh, if you really want, you can uh, buy me a coffee. That link's down below as well. You can also find links to all the products I use uh, for shipping, for storage. Um, those are not affiliate links. I'm not making money off that. So those are just for you to use. And uh, let's get started. Da, da, da. Ooh. Okie dokie. All right. Uh, this first one up here is uh, Aiden Arabia, now Yemen. Uh, this is a the main pass, right? We've got a couple of cars on the road here. Uh, I've actually got a real photo of pretty much this exact same view the same card almost maybe just a tiny bit different um this one sold very very quickly uh like the day after i put it up um unposted the egypt cigarettes factory that could have been, had something to do with it as well uh this one went for six dollars and 95 cents uh the uh free shipping on that one so uh, but if you want a real photo version of this same card, I have that. I don't know who it was published by, but it's a little bit more expensive. That is still available. Uh, moving on. A very nice embossed, gilded uh, Christmas greetings postcard. Uh, unused from the 1910s. Somebody at one point paid $2.50 for this card. Uh, I got full asking price on it uh, of $14.95 uh, plus $1 standard envelope shipping. Uh, I have found in, I've done very well with these embossed gilt uh, holiday cards, especially if they're unused. Um, so I've, I've been pretty much, if it's, if it's not a particular brand like a winch or, um, something recognizable i i typically am pricing it right at about 15 uh make offer plus one dollar shipping and i've sold a few uh with this pricing structure uh perhaps as we get closer to christmas i may go up a little bit on that but i'm i'm very very happy with what i got on this one moving right along we have commercial street looking south in adams massachusetts uh now Again, this one went full asking price, um, $14.95 plus $1, uh, $1 shipping. Uh, uncommon view. Uh, I couldn't find any other examples like it. I, I maybe could have gone a little bit higher. It is a CT photograph. It states it's photograph. Obviously, it's not a photograph. But um, the front of this one featured this image, right? So... I think the car probably caught some attention uh, with the trolley in the background. It's just a nice street street view card. If you're new to postcards, we would call this a street view. And uh, yeah, happy with what I got on it. Moving on to our next card. It's a viewer sale. Thank you, Celestine. Uh, among the orange groves in Florida. I've sold this card now several times. Um, it usually goes somewhere between like the five and ten dollar range. Um, most 
of the other sellers out there use the term black Americana on this card. Um, I try to steer away from that term personally. Um, I feel that there's other merits I can sell the card on. Um, that's just me. Uh, black Americana is definitely, uh, and I think this would definitely qualify, um, is definitely a search term that can help uh, sell cards. Uh, just not one I used. Next up. Uh, all right. This one actually sold for $3.95. Uh, free shipping. Um, but it was combined with some other orders going out. Next up. The Disneyland uh, Dixie Band. Disneyland Band, obviously. Um, posted 1961. So this is fairly new in the life of Disneyland, right? Um, very cool postcard. Uh, I've know exactly where this photo was taken, right? If you've been to Disneyland, you kind of like have a mental map of the geography. Like I know just past these guys off to the right is the magic shop. And, uh, right off here to the left that we're looking at, I think is the, um, uh, place where they have the breakfast with all the characters thing. Yeah. So this one sold for six ninety five, free shipping. Next up, uh, Culver Sumner March, or pardon me, Culver Summer Naval School, uh, cadets on parade. This one dates to nineteen oh eight, as we will see here on the back. Uh, an Excelsior Crow. Uh, Excelsior, uh, oh, Leipzig. Okay, anyways, Maine, Germany. Um, yeah, very cool, like military style parade. This one sold for nineteen ninety five, uh, plus uh, one dollar standard envelope shipping. We have the Bessemer Steel Plant of the Republic Iron and Steel Company in Youngstown, Ohio. Uh, sent out an offer on this one. It's been up for a little while. Sold for $8.50. Free shipping. It is a unposted Leighton and Valentine right here. l &B. Cool. A lot of these postcards have these very intertwined letter logos. That are very cool. Um, Light and Valentine and Valentines in general. Uh, the publisher, not the the subject. Uh, uh, all have that sort of very cool intertwined looking look to them. This one sold uh, again eight fifty free ship. Uh, interior of old the old bank, Spokane, Washington. Unposted. Uh, I feel like this one I've had up for a while, but that may not be true. Uh, did sell for $5.95 uh, free shipping. Very cool postcard. I like the look of it. I like the um, the green pillars here. Looks like they're like moss covered, even though I know they're just probably dyed stone. Another Disneyland postcard. This is the uh, Pepsi Cola Golden Horseshoe Can Can Show. Unused. Well, I mean, it's got, it had some mounting from tape, but uh, again, this one's 1960s. Uh, this show, I believe, is still running, if I'm not mistaken, because if, if I'm correct, this is the one that ends up that turns into the the brawl that goes outside, and then there's the outside fight that happens, and it's like the stunt show, right? That still goes on. Uh, uh, memory served me correct. I think that's what happens. Anyways, six ninety five free shipping. We've got a large letter greeting linen postcard. Uh, we know it's linen because of the cross hatching visible on the texture of the card. Uh, probably doesn't show up as well on the scan, but we can definitely feel it when we touch it. Got the keys to all of them. The old watchtower entrance to Castillo de San Marcos. Old, yeah, 
there we go. I'm not going to read them all. And then, uh, yeah, we got a little horse and carriage thing going on there. Uh, I listed a whole bunch of large letter greetings. Um, there, I had gone through most of them, uh, all the ones that I had, and the ones that were worth more than uh, three ninety five. I just I listed those separately, and then uh, I just sat for one afternoon and busted out a whole lot of large letter greetings. And uh, in the interest of saving time, I just was putting them all out at three ninety five. Uh, free ship. So I'm making a few bucks on each one and I was able to do a whole lot of them in a very short amount of time, which one thing with postcards, uh, I, I'm, I'm learning, uh, you know, I learn all the times so I'm always trying to refine my, my methods is really, it's, it's a tremendous time saver to batch together similar cards. Um, and you can get them out really twice as fast, the less you have to change when you're doing them. So, you know, it's one of those things where an ounce of preparation is, is definitely worth a, uh, there's a metaphor there, but it saves you time. <laughs> so moving on, uh, this one, uh, again, three ninety five dollars free shipping. We've got a Minnehaha Falls. This one, we've sold a lot of Minnehaha Falls recently. There was a lot of these out there. This is a newer one, 1960s. Uh, you know, pretty famous view. Plastic chrome up here, right? That's one of the ways we know it's chrome. Uh, anyways, this one sold uh, for $3.95 or $2.95 rather, free shipping. So because there was a lot of them out there, I just priced under everybody. I'm still making a couple of bucks on the card. Totally happy with it. Mine sold. Meanwhile, the other ones are still sitting out there. I think if you go look at the solds for this card, I'm going to be the only one with one sold. This next one, I think, is our uh, high water mark of the week. This is a uh, Albertype. So Albertype, again, is just kind of a reference to the printing process. If you want to do a dive into that, just go Google Albertype, A-L-B-E-R-T-Y-P-E. -E. Uh, this is in, um, uh, I'm not going to say this right, but this is the Grand Canal in China. Uh, the Hangzhou Bridge or Hangzhou Bridge, I believe is how it's pronounced. I may not be correct in that, but that's what I'm going to say. Uh, took an offer on this one. I put it up at $54.95 plus shipping, and uh, it sold for $45 on a make offer plus shipping. First class shipping. Uh, another Albertype. This is actually done by the Albertype company. You can see right there, Albertype, Brooklyn, New York. Uh, Flagstaff, Arizona, the road among the pines. Got the car on there, so my the uh, the shot that I was using to sell this one is right there, kind of focused in on the car. Sold relatively quickly for fourteen dollars plus one dollar shipping. Next up, we have a comic silhouette postcard. This is uh, not comic signed or artist signed, rather. Um, very cool. It's uh, done by the Simplicity Company. Uh, I just think it's a cool art card. Uh, I feel like I could have probably maybe milked a few more bucks out of it. It is. It did go um, overseas to England. Uh, it sold for twelve ninety five dollars uh, plus overseas shipping. We have the Santa Fe Depot in Stockton, California. Uh, this one took a little while to sell. Um, it sold um, on an offer I sent out. I had it listed at $5.95. On my lower end cards, I, I send out offers, but it's only 5% off. I'm not really going much lower than that on a three, four, five dollar card. So this one did sell for $5.65. And this one went overseas as well, which is interesting. I'm actually a little surprised about that. I'm wondering why this particular rail station 
um, somebody overseas was wanted to buy it to pay m for more in shipping than they paid for the card. Hmm. Next up is the Gloucester, Massachusetts. Uh, this is the uh, Rocky Neck Artist Studios, as we can see when we look at the view, full view. Interesting, you know, house on stilts posted. We've got the date here, 1929. I think just a kind of a cool image and definitely was not another one I, I saw out there. So uh, this one went for $565. And again, overseas shipping. Um, had a quite a few overseas uh, international sales on cards this week. Um, by the way, for those keeping score, the four hundred and thirty dollars did not include any uh, collected shipping charges. Next up, I mean, clearly this one's got issues. We've got an exaggeration. Uh, fish kind of theme here going on. Takes a four to bring a single one home from Bass Lake, Indiana. Uh, obviously, we've got some condition here, condition issues here, but didn't seem to matter. Somebody paid six ninety five free shipping on this. I mean, look at that. We got tape. We got folds and creases, and I mean, this this card has seen better days. But it was interesting enough as a subject matter, I listed it. And it, it really did. It took a couple of months and it sold. Another University of Cincinnati uh, car. This is a aerial linen view of the campus. I have six more of these cards to sell. This one sold for $4.95 free shipping. Here we can see very much the linen nature of the card right we can very much see the texture here so you know for those of you who are new to postcards and are like what's a linen well we can really see the texture on the front of the card here especially as compared to say this one right we don't really see any texture on this one texture no texture and when you're holding the card in the hand, you'll you'll really be able to tell the difference. So this is a Chrome postcard. Again, just think, uh, you know, chromatic. You gotta. Here was the front view. I sort of messed with the uh, the toning and the sharpness a little bit. You got sear. Looks like a gra graffiti sears off in the background, <laughs> or maybe somebody wrote on the card. It's hard to tell. Um, but this is uh, Los Angeles, California, the Westwood Village. It's, a, again, a street view. Uh, sold for $4.95. Uh, free shipping. Again, there was other cards out there similar to this, and I just undercut the market. Uh, this one's a rather interesting card. Picking Cotton in Oklahoma. You know, obviously, you know, it's you've been dealt with postcards before you've probably run across a picking cotton postcard somewhere what's unusual about this one is that all these people are white uh i well the vast majority of them uh which is something you don't always see in postcards i didn't use that as a selling point it's just something that is i think worth note unused this is cress and company uh, sold for $5.99, free shipping. Next up is Santa Clara County, California. This is the uh, Valley of Heart's Delight at Blossom Time. Uh, sold for $8.50, free shipping. Uh, went out on an offer sent. Wasn't up for terribly long. I don't think it's a terribly remarkable card. I mean, it's just a nice, you know, sort of bird's eye view of a farming scene. So, um, but you know, the farming scene is all white because everything's in blossom. Kind of neat. All right. Next up. 
my neck of the woods here, Port Angeles, Washington. I was actually just there yesterday. I didn't see any of these schools, though. Um, been up since 2019. Took an offer, <coughs> $30 plus shipping. <clears throat> and at the moment, I can't find it. Can't find the card. That's not a good thing. Um, I'm sure I'll find it. Just have to look harder. <clears throat> Pardon me. Um, but very cool. There's four four schools of at the time, Port Angeles, Washington. I've had a number of uh, Port Angeles cards. I believe they all go to the same person. <clears throat> Next up. Uh, this pumpkin field on a Western farm. I used this photo as the, the front. I gave a little bit more detail and sharpness. Uh, I like this guy who's like just chillaxing on a pumpkin. Both these guys just chillax. Look, this pumpkin is holding up this guy's full weight. And then there's a creepy guy in the way background over here. Probably staring down that little girl and that dog. Get away from my pumpkins. Uh, somebody's actually messaged me after this one sold. Somebody before it sold, I got an offer. Somebody wanted to pay less than my asking price, and I said no. And then uh, it sold a couple days later to a different person. And then the day after that, I get a message of if I still had the card available, which was also no. So uh, that is that. Next. Uh, San Diego, California. Uh, this is the morning colors at the U.S. Naval Training Station in San Diego. Uh, I have multiple of this card. Um, let's see here. I think I have three or four of them left still to sell. This is the second one that sold. It sold for six, or pardon me, five ninety five uh, with free shipping. Uh, San Jose, California, first street, street view. Um, lots of cool signs going on here. It's a nice card. Obviously got a crease right down the middle. So there were other ones out there. Um, I, I priced mine down because of the crease and also just, you know, try to try to get it sold. It actually sold right away at $4.95 free shipping. Getting towards the end here, folks. Thanks for staying with us. Very cool Statue of Liberty New York City card. I was actually surprised when I, when I looked this up, how common it was. It's a lot of them out there. But everybody was out there asking $14, $15, $16 a card when I looked, and none of them were sold. So I put mine at a much more reasonable $5.95. Uh, free shipping. It is got some condition issues. Obviously, it's been mounted at some point. This black, fuzzy, furry stuff is the uh, dead giveaway here in one of those old photo or postcard albums. Uh, but I think it's a cool enough image that it was able to sell. Five ninety five free shipping. Courthouse in Williamson County. Uh, Marion, Illinois. So this one was up for a little while. It came from the collection of courthouse postcards that I, I picked up uh, last summer. Uh, couldn't find any of them out there. So this one I, I priced up a little bit at $15.95 uh, plus shipping and uh, buyer picked it right up. Again, we've got some mounting residue here. It didn't matter. It, it was an uncommon card. So um probably why that one sold somebody who's either collecting the town or collecting the county or courthouses and um uh, didn't have this particular view lamar county courthouse in barnesville georgia so just kind of a you know not all courthouses are worth the same if you're new to postcards you're going to want to look all of them up because some are going to be more commonly pictured than others this one, for example, only sold for $6.95. Uh, there is quite a few out there. Once again, price under my competition. Get the card sold. This one's unposted, as we can see here. All right. 
Parker Tech American Art. Uh, this is also a linen. It doesn't show up real well on the scan, but also because it's a little bit later, probably not, um, you know, more of them out there and therefore not as high value or asking price. We've got the Santa Cruz Boardwalk Bandstand, right? So here's my front page picture, which is really just a little bit of a cut in. You know, we've got the people mover type overhead trolley thing, the big bandstand. Again, you can go find this card available online right now. There's plenty of them out there. Um, I think mine, I, I priced under the competition. I provided a little bit better focus on what the big deal was and uh, sold relatively quickly at $4.95 uh, free shipping. Another very cool postcard. This is the uh, from the 1939 Golden Gate International Expo in San Francisco, California. It's Levi's Electric Rodeo. Very cool card. Again, not extremely uncommon. They made quite a few of these cards. There's plenty of them available. Mine was unposted. Uh, took an offer on this one for $20 uh, plus shipping. And uh, there are some videos online as well where you can actually see this thing in action. And let me tell you, it's super cool. Like for if, if I was at an expo in 1939 and I saw this thing going, it would be like mind blown. Very cool sort of marketing gimmick from the Levi Strauss company. Uh, Man of War, the Wonder Horse bred in Kentucky. Uh, I believe this this uh, won the yeah won the Kentucky Derby, and uh, this obviously we are you know Kentucky Derby is in the news, so um, a lot of Kentucky uh, Derby items sold over the past uh, you know few weeks. This one probably kind of in that because it's you know. A, a subject of conversation. So this is Man of War, winner of the Kentucky Derby. Uh, looks like maybe 1952 or somewhere thereabouts. Another University of Cincinnati. Uh, Sawyer, Scotio, and Morgan's Halls. A lot of University of Cincinnati cards going on. I think uh, somebody suggested it's graduation time. Um, so people are, you know, looking to put together gifts or just have little pieces of memory. Um, I don't know how true that is. Definitely there's somebody out there with some interest in the University of Cincinnati. Uh, this same person has purchased from me now several, several cards. Um, pretty much all of them I've had the same price as well. I've fiddled with the prices on some of the other ones, but the sweet spot really seems to be $6.95 free ship on these. So University of Cincinnati Chrome postcards, $6.95 free ship and come and get them. All right. We got a general view of Goldfield, Nevada. This one's been up. This came from the collection that I purchased uh, in San Francisco last August. Um, took a little while to sell. Unposted. Edward Mitchell down here publisher uh that is definitely a name that you get very familiar with out here on the west coast uh selling postcards <laughs> so um just kind of very cool view i like the uh the gold the mound out here in the distance and it doesn't really show up that great it's it's dark i, I probably should have lightened up this picture a little bit but this is basically just camps right here all these people getting ready to go dig some gold. Um, so this one here sold for sixteen ninety five, dollars uh, free shipping. Or plus shipping, rather. I'm sorry. Plus shipping. And that is that. So let me know what your favorite card is. Leave a comment on, uh, you know, 
what kind of cards you've been selling. Would you like me to see maybe a deeper dive on a particular publisher or artist, maybe area? Um, let me know. Leave it in the comments. Uh, if uh, you like seeing more of these videos, or if you've got ideas for other future videos, please do let me know. Uh, and thank you very much for watching. We will see you next week on our next postcard only what sold video. And if you are working in the mornings, uh, I do lives semi daily, almost every day, uh, packing up eBay orders and we do a little bit of talking about postcards, but a whole bunch of other things there as well. We'd love to have you. So hit the bell notification button. You'll know when I do go live. And thank you for watching.